again. Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's doing fine and well, having a great day. Welcome if you are new. So I've got a few things off Temu. Let's start with these nails. Guys, as well, I've not done a Temu haul. I've not shopped on Temu for quite a few weeks. Do you know, I actually got fed up of it um, for various reasons that I'm not going to go into. But I kind of got fed up with it. Um, so I've just done a cheeky little haul. It was these nails, actually, that caught my eye. So I'm going to take a look at these. Because I'm well aware everybody loves the BT Art Box. They're kind of the... I think BT Art Box are the original OG kind of brand that did the pre-painted and the pre-painted French design, stuff like that. And I'm well aware everybody wants to try them and they're not in everybody's budget. So I think coming across little finds like this on places like Temu are fantastic. These look so cute. Right, so I would say these are like a medium they're not sure they're like a medium oh i like these they've got a really deep french i don't like these frenchies that are just kind of across near enough straight i love these deep ones look they go right up the side these are so cute right so as you can see we've got a lilac they've kind of got a nudie base color so we've got a lilac so these are sizes zero oh right so i'm impressed so we've got sizes zero to eleven but then on the end here we've got three in between sizes so we've got 8.5 9.5 and 10.5 so we've even got half sizes here on the end brilliant right so we've got lilac then we've got a kind of teal turquoisey kind of color oh these are really cute Right, we've got pink, very nice, very pretty yellow, pastel. Yeah, these are kind of torn down. Oh, we've got one missing, but it's there, it's fine. We've got a nice kind of lime green. Yeah, so they're all kind of pastel colours, aren't they? Purple, turquoise, pink, yellow and lime. These are really, really nice. So, we're going to have a go with those today. And I also got to go with them i've seen a couple of people using this and it's supposed to be really good so i got some of this solid nail tips gel and this is the brand lime girl i love this tube it's pink with flowers and we've got the silver band in there so it's a big 30 gram tube there's the ingredients and it's got how to use and precautions it's all written in english I like this so it has got a wider tip but because these are solid gels if you had that thin precision tip uh, the gel glue wouldn't come out of such a tiny hole so let's have a look at this is it gonna stick to my gloves or what so it's definitely a solid glue non sticky this is nice I like it I do prefer these solid glues so we're going to use that to apply the tips and I also got some stickers let's have a look I love these ones I have got these in different colors so these are the kind of stickers that look like you've used an airbrush and a stencil so we've got all different sizes have we no there's just two sizes so we've got a kind of large and a small and then we've got clouds and little stars I do apologize my phone is pinging let me just mute it i like them they're really small as well right then i got some hibiscus leaves no hibiscus flowers these are adorable i really like oh it's a two pack okay so we've got these ones they're mostly white but we've got the odd pink one on there and a couple of little stars i like these ones they're nice and we've got this uh, this colour, these are beautiful. I have got something in mind with these, so I'm not going to use these today. This particular colour. They're beautiful, aren't they? I love them. 
and these are hibiscus flowers as well right so this one's a pack of four lovely so it's got two pink ones in there a baby pink and a hot pink i like these a lot very nice and then we've got yellow and white it's a shame we couldn't get just one more color because we could have done the pinky the ring finger the middle finger and the pointer i suppose we still could if we use two pinks we'll see and lastly for the stickers i grabbed these because they were so cheap i didn't realize they were these teeny tiny little ones though oh these feel funny oh they're all still stuck together oh and they smell funny <laughs> I loved the look of these. These are brilliant for going around your cuticle and stuff. Oh wow, look at all these guys. Teeny tiny little flowers. I like these. I think there's 12 in total in this little pack. They are all kind of stuck together. And we've got these ones. Teeny tiny little flowers, aren't they? Little yellow ones. Oh, this one's got a little bow these are so cute these ones and lastly we've got these ones lots and lots of little flowers right and lastly guys this is not nail related but i'm obsessed with one of these in particular so i got some eyebrow pencils yes i am one of them girls that obsesses over her eyebrows <laughs> this is my favorite one I will leave links to everything down in my description box. Discount codes will all be down there. This one I am obsessed. Well, I, I'm obsessed with two of them. One of them I'm not so keen on, but two of them I'm really happy with. So this, let me just pull my hand out and show you on my hand. This one's probably my favourite favorite one. You can literally do the teeniest, tiniest little thin hairs, or you can do thicker ones. I'm obsessed with this one. I love it. Look at that. Sorry, I was completely out of shot there. And once it's dry as well, it stays on. It is completely waterproof. You really have to rub it uh, with soapy water to get it off. Love that one. And then this is the other one that I love. So this has got like four brush heads on it. So this is going to kind of do like four hairs in one go can you see they do take a little bit of getting used to but look at that aren't they clever this one is quite difficult to use this one is very easy to use um but yeah this one does take a little bit of getting used to and then lastly this one i'm not too keen on so i do use the brush i use this a lot I like to brush my eyebrows before I go in with my pencils. And on the other end, it's not a liquid one like these two. So it's like a triangle. So you can do uh, the thinner lines like... You can do the thinner lines with it, but you kind of have to press on more with this one. Yeah, I'm not so keen on this one. It's still good, but I just prefer the others. This one was a bit too light for me as well. This one's probably good if you've got a little bit of eyebrow you want to just colour in, maybe. But as for doing the little flicky flicks, this one's not as clever. These, these two, this one, love it. This one takes a lot of getting used to. And look, they don't rub off. You really have to rub them with soapy water right so one more thing i want to show you this was not from temu i got this from poundland in the uk guys look how much it was 75 pence so this is a little mini lint roller i use lint rollers for my, for stamping when you've got an image on your stamper that you want to take off that they're quite big aren't they these lint rollers and i saw these teeny teeny tiny ones and I just thought, yeah, I've got to get it. I'm just wondering, though, if I can get refills for it. I don't think I've ever seen lint rollers so tiny. Look at the size of this. Oh, oh it's tiny. 
so lightweight and tiny so that can just get put in the drawer with all my stamping stuff right so let me get set up guys we're going to just quickly apply these nails see what they look like see what they apply like they look really nice actually and we are just gonna use the sticker so shall we get on with it so i've not really got any nail prep to do because i did it two days ago so i'm just using a buffer and i'm just getting all that shine off my natural nail and this will really give the gel something to grip onto so get your natural nail all nice and scuffed up if you've got alcohol use a bit of alcohol to clean your nails and this will really dehydrate them as well that's another thing gel loves gel loves a really dehydrated nail and then i'm gonna go in with a base coat so as there's five different colors i'm just gonna go for a different color on each nail i think so i just want to quickly show you the thumb oh now then these are a good size I always find the shorter tips, the thumbs are always uh, not the best. But this one is a really good size. I would even go as far as saying that's a bit big for me. Oh wow, so this is the number one. Oh, popped off. This is the number one. Look at that for the number one. I think I might even go... Mm, no, I'm going to stick with the number zero. Oh, I don't know now. Right, I'm going to stick with the zero. That's a good size zero. I'm impressed. So just wanted to add as well. I didn't mention. So these nail tips, they're a three in one soft gel system. So we've got the base coat, the soft gel tip itself and the tip primer. They're pre-etched on the inside so can you see they're nice and matte so you don't need to buff them or chemically etch them or anything and yeah they will fit all nail beds because they're so flexible if your nail beds are quite curved you can cure them in place like that or if your nail beds are flat you can cure them in place like that so they are really versatile uh, a lot of these soft gel tips they they, they really do fit all, all types of nail shapes right so i've got all my sizes picked out there i've only just realized i've got one of my lights missing it wasn't turned on so if my screen's been a little dark then that's why <laughs> right i've got my little flash cue lamp ready to go there so shall we give these tips a whirl so i'm gonna start with my pinky ah, that's far too much teeny tiny little bit can you see teeny tiny little bit I'm just going to spread it out a little bit because it's a solid gel you can do that spread it out a bit so I'm going to press it in at my cuticle area and I'm going to press that nail tip down and because they're slightly transparent you can see the glue so once that glue has completely covered my natural nail I'm going to stick that under my flash lamp then. If there's any that leaked out, you can just wipe it away with your finger. No stickiness, no mess. I love this solid stuff. It is a game changer. So I'm just going to stick that under my flash lamp. You don't even need to hold it, it's solid, it will just stay in place perfect and there's just that right amount of gel it's not touching my skin it's not bulging out perfect right let's do another so i have just spread that glue out a little bit again so this is going on my ring finger so same again press it in at your cuticle area and lower that tip down Got a little bit that's leaked out there so I'm just going to get it and then straight under my flash lamp so I will just do one more with you so this is going to be the middle nail because this nail is a little bit bigger 
I am just going to add a couple of little bits of glue to the edges. So again, press it in at my cuticle area. Press that tip down. You do have to press quite a bit harder than you would do with a, a runny gel out of a bottle. But once it's on, it's on and it's not going anywhere. So under my lamp again. So there we go guys, that's them all applied. I don't even want to put any stickers on them. <laughs> so all I'm going to do to start with is I'm just going to get that little notch off the end that you get on all these tips. I don't need to touch my cuticles or anything. So I need to protect this French colour with a builder gel. If you just go over them with a top coat, you're not going to get that 30 days out of them. So go over them with a builder gel and then I'm going to put my stickers and stuff on. If you've not got a builder in a bottle, maybe go over them with a base coat and seal all your edges in, then top coat them. But I'm just going in with a little builder in a bottle just to protect this colour and it's going to add a bit of strength to the nails as well. Right, so let's get these sealed in. And when I say seal them in, you want to completely seal all those edges. The tip, seal it all in. And then I'm just going to paint the entire surface of the nail then. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that on every nail now. So I was taught a little hack before I used nail stickers to use a foil transfer gel because it's extremely sticky but I don't want to add another layer of gel to these nails I'm going to use the tacky layer off, off this builder gel so I didn't know whether to go for these little tiny ones all different colours or the hibiscus flowers but just the white ones and I've decided to go with these because we have got some little some of these little tiny patterns and the smaller kind of flowers would work well. So I think I'm just going to stick with the white. So I'm just going to whack some music on guys and start sticking. So guys, I'm going to seal these in straight away rather than do all the nails as soon as I've stuck this sticker down I'm going to seal it in with the top coat because I don't want the sticker peeling up under the heat of these lights so I'm going to cure as I go get these sealed straight in So there we go guys, that is then finished. I totally forgot to speak at the end of this video. I'm that used to doing voiceovers, I just totally forgot to speak. <laughs> so there we go, that is then finished. I'm obsessed with these little tips for the price. And if you prep, I always say if you prep your nails properly, these will last up to four weeks, they really will. So with just this one pack of tips and the stickers, you're going to get at least four, five, maybe even six months worth of salon quality nails. You're going to get a good five, six sets 
out of these tips and stickers they're just worth every penny aren't they anyway guys that is it for today i love how these turned out so quick so easy so simple super beginner friendly and best of all affordable all links will be down below don't forget to use the temu discount codes they are fantastic especially if you're a new user and you've just downloaded the app definitely take advantage of that thanks for watching please remember to give the video a quick thumbs up guys and subscribe to the channel if you're not already hopefully i'll see you all back in my next one take care bye